Okay, this is a video about how to make a model train control panel. Um, most of these samples you see here are my failures, but I wanted to share what I did to try to get this uh, thing to work. Um, I saw a, a couple of YouTube videos on how to imprint on a piece of wood like this uh, images. So I, I used PowerPoint and I came up with my train layout, my model train layout, and put circles wherever I needed a switch uh, to control the, the direction of the train. I made a reverse image because when you rip it off, of course, it'll be a positive image. So you have to reverse it in PowerPoint. Then I put it on here and you use a material uh, called uh, gel mat medium, gel medium, and you spread it on here and eventually it dries and you're supposed to be able to rip this off and the image stays, the colored image is supposed to stay, and the paper comes off. Well, unfortunately, it didn't come out that well. In fact, it came out pretty crummy. I don't know if I needed more patience or more to be more careful, uh, but after two or three tries of this, I got this kind of an image, which was very spotty. So I kind of threw that idea away. Um, and there was another problem using this. This is three quarter inch pine. And I'll talk about that in a minute. My next attempt was to take a, an image from, uh, do another PowerPoint like this, and uh, buy some laminating material, which I got from uh, Office Depot or Staples. It's the kind they sell in, in packages, different sizes, to laminate a license or social security card. So I, I did it myself. I laminated both sides of it and I came up with this. So then I took that and I put it on a piece of quarter inch plywood, which is this, and I tried to drill out the holes where the circles were for the switches. And it was a dis dismal failure. It just, no matter what size hole I, I, I drilled, it was hit or miss. So I gave up on that idea, and then I decided, why am I laminating this? Because I've done you know, four or five iterations of this. I'm going to let Staples do it. So I printed out another image. This time I let them uh, laminate it. And they have three different thicknesses of lamination. And I got the middle thickness of lamination, so it's, it's pretty sturdy, it's, it's washable. And then I use these punches. It's a hollow punch chisel set. It's called a hollow leather punch set. I think it was like $15, maybe less. And it comes in this set, this package, and you just take these out, put the uh, <coughs> laminated layout uh, on a, a hard surface, like a piece of wood, sacrificial wood, and then you just punch them out. And it punches out a nice clean hole for the, um, for the switches. And that was my going in. I, just, I did try to put that on a piece of wood, but here's where the problem was. Even on a thin piece of wood, quarter inch plywood, these switches just barely fit through the thickness of the wood in the laminate. And you can only use one nut. Now the problem with that is these switches come with two nuts. So you're supposed to sandwich the panel between the two nuts. And I said, well, why is that necessary? That shouldn't be necessary. Well, if you don't, and you put it on like that, and you tighten the nut down, it pulls the threaded shank right out of the switch. And you can see that on this one here. It just pulled it right out. So you need a thin enough material. Uh, and I decided to give up on wood. Um, I then went to plexiglass, a thin piece of plexiglass. And that kind of worked, but it was very tedious and very difficult not to split some holes. This is one of the first, the few successes I had. And I think it's got a scratch or a hole in it. So even with plexiglass, it was, it was tough to do. I then moved to metal, and I, I uh, had the most success with metal. Uh, this is about a, an eighth inch, a little bit more than an eighth inch thick piece of metal. I lined up the holes, drilled them. That might have that worked, but I liked the thinner metal better. And this is an example of the thinner metal. This happens to be uh, 20 thousandths thick steel, and I think I got this at Lowe's. Um, and I decided not to, uh, not to paste them together or stick them together, just let the switches hold them together. And that's what I ended up doing. Uh, I lined up the switches and I was able to, to mark the holes in the metal, drill it, and then just put the switches in which held everything. So um, I'll show you how that finally turned out with all the switches 
um, in the final product. Okay. Okay, so this is the final um, the final product. Uh, you can see all the switches mounted and underneath it is a, a piece of metal. Uh, this particular piece of uh, sheet metal I think is aluminum and it's about a tenth of an inch thick. Uh, I wouldn't go much thicker than that. I think an eighth of an inch might be too thick for these switches. Here's another uh, example with the yard and you can see that they can uh, be fairly densely packed, uh, packed on the switch on the uh, the layout uh, control panel and uh, I like the idea of PowerPoint because you can if you make a mistake in the uh, the wording you can change it real easily of course you have to unscrew all the switches and put them back in but that's about all you can do so that's that's it that's my my solution and that's what I've been using okay thanks for watching and please uh, subscribe and give me a likes if you like this. Thanks.